Thanks for joining us today as we continue our out of the box implementation series for Odoo 16. Now that we have our product forms completed in our database, it's time to get an accurate count for our starting inventory. We'll also talk about cycle counts today. And while this was briefly touched on at the setup of our database, since our barbers utilize our stock that we also sell from, we need to keep more of an eye on the inventory. And so we're going to be doing inventory counts monthly. Because we track our inventory via lots and expiration dates, it's really important for me to make sure that information is in Odoo. Now, when you have a lot in Odoo, it has to be attached to a particular product. And only then will we be able to actually add our inventory correctly. So getting our inventory into the system is going to require two steps. First, we need to get all of our product lots into the system along with the expiration dates. And once this data has been added, we're going to go in and add our stock through the inventory adjustment process. From our inventory module, we're going to go in up to the products and select lots serial numbers from the dropdown. There are two ways of getting our data into Odoo. One is by a manual process or importing. We're going to start with the manual process and we're going to add our serial number here. Uh, we'll start with the beard oil serial number for BO10001. Again, this is associating it with our product now, so we're going to choose the beard oil. And that lot number is now paired. Uh, the quantity listed below is related to the specific product and lot number. So right now we have no inventory in there, um, but that will change. Then listed here below is the internal reference. And this is if we have something that is different than maybe what the manufacturer has a different lot or serial number than what we have. Um, so we could note that information there. And then down here below is where we're going to be adding our expiration date. Um, so we'll get that updated real quick. And when we do that, it's going to automatically change our alert date because we had set it up to be 90 days prior to our expiration to let us know. So that will be in there as well. And we'll save this. All right. And now we can see the lot was created. And we're going to go ahead and finish this out by doing um, a manual import this time. So we'll go to import records and we're going to upload the file. All right. And the information we're trying to update is the expiration that we see here. Um, this one did not pull in the information for the lot. So what we're going to do here is just pull it from the drop down. I'm going to just type in lot. It's right there. Um, and then the same here for the product ID. We'll just type in product and select. We'll test it to make sure everything's valid and it is, and it's ready for the import. So just in case you wanted to see what it looked like, I've got my expiration dates here, my lot, as well as the product name, and that was pulled from the system as well. All right, make sure we save that. And we're gonna import it. All right, we've got 15 records that were imported for our lots that we added. You can see they've been added here, um, different lots for the different products. And now we are ready to go ahead and um, get the inventory adjustment done. So now we're gonna add the quantities to those particular lots. So right now it's empty, as we can see here, again, two ways of doing it. We'll start with their manual. We're going to add our location. We'll start by adding um, it to shelf 1A. Choose our product, the beard oil. And now what you're going to see is when we get to this drop down, this is where we're going to be able to associate it with the particular lot number. So we'll change our counted quantity to 30. And when we click out of this, it's going to change the difference. It's green. It's to 30. Um, we need to go ahead and apply this count. And once it is, it'll show in as an on hand quantity. So now we can see all of that information has been added and we're ready to go ahead and import the rest of our records. So we're going to check out our file real quick. Again, I've added the location because I am storing them on different shelves and bins, the product, the lot ID, as well as our counted quantity. Make it quick and easy for myself. We'll upload that form 
and you can see that each field has been paired um, from the file column to the Odoo field. We'll test it out and it looks great. So we're ready to get it done. And then 15 records have been imported with a click of a button. So we're ready to go ahead and ply. We'll do all at the same time right now. Let me click the quantities updated reason. Um, and so here you can see our on hand quantity has been added to the lot numbers. So they are paired correctly along with the product and the location. Now, if we wanted to add any more lots here, there would be a different, the product would be associated with that lot number. So let's go to products and we'll check it out what it looks like. <clears throat> the beard oil, we can see the units on hand. Now it takes us right to how many we have on hand as well as the lot or serial number associated. Next, we're going to talk about cycle counts. Cycle counts are used to keep more close watch over critical stock. Many businesses do an inventory count once a year, and this is the default setting in Odoo. Now, because our barbers pull products from the same stock that we use for our sales, I need to be running a count of inventory every 30 days. It's also important to note that in Odoo, we configure the cycle counts from the storage location setting. To do this, we'll need to go up to the locations from our configuration drop-down menu. And we're going to choose a location to open up. Let's check out um, shelf 1A, or bin A. Okay, so we can see all of our information here, the cyclic counting, the inventory frequency currently set at zero, so that's the default, the last effective inventory date, as well as the next expected inventory. Now we wanna change our inventory frequency to every 30 days. So by doing that, we're gonna go ahead and save it, and it's gonna change our next expected inventory date here so that it's pushed it out 30 days from today. So we'll schedule that for July. Then we'll go back to locations. Now I want to do this for everyone so I can go in and do them auto manually or I can go ahead and make it easy on myself and do a manual update. So let's go ahead and do that, that now by selecting the ones we need. We'll go to favorites. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go to action export. We're going to do a CSV and we want to make sure that we're importing compatible data so we need to tick that box. We're going to add our inventory frequency days to this list. We'll export it here. And we can see all the information. We've got our external ID for importing it back in. And we're going to change this from 0 to 30 all the way across or down. All right, that looks good. Let's save it. Okay, we'll close this out and we're ready to import it. Go to Favorites, Import Records. We're going to upload our file. We'll test it to make sure that everything is valid. It is, so we're ready to go ahead and import it. Now we have nine records that have been imported. We can check to make sure that information is there. It is. So we'll go back out to our locations. And with that complete, we're ready to do our inventory adjustments. Here we can see that our current scheduled date is set for 1231. Now we will complete an inventory count today as it is our starting inventory in the system. And what will happen is that when we save this, we'll see that we have a new scheduled date for our next inventory that will reflect the changes we made to our inventory frequency. So we'll save that there, apply it. And now you can see that has changed from the 31st of December to July 14th, 30 days from today. That's all for us today. If you'd like to learn more about how Confions can help you with your Odoo needs, contact sales at confionsit.com or call 704-214-4622, extension 403.